to watch UK Netflix on your Fire Stick, it's actually very simple. So to do this, we need to trick Netflix into thinking we are viewing it from that specific country. And that's where we need a VPN, also known as a virtual private network. So to get a VPN on our Amazon Fire Stick, the first thing we need to do is to make sure we are on the homepage. Once you're here, you want to scroll all the way across to the app drawer on the right. And you want to scroll all the way down to where it says get more apps and click on that. This will take you to the Amazon Fire Stick application store. From here, we need to search for the VPN. So you want to go to the left to the search tab then you want to click on the search bar here. So the VPN I recommend using is called Private Internet Access. So once you search for Private Internet Access, it will be the first result and it will look like this. So you want to go ahead and click into it and it will tell you more about Private Internet Access VPN and what it will do. So you just want to go ahead and install Private Internet Access from here. And once you've done that, you want to go ahead and open up the VPN. So once you've opened the VPN, it will look like this and you'll be greeted to a login screen. So you want to go ahead and click on the login button and you want to go ahead and log into your account. Now because you're watching this video I'm going to assume you don't have an account so you will need to click on the link in the description of this video and it will take you to the website where you can go ahead and register for an account. I recommend you use Private Internet Access VPN as they have hundreds of high speed servers all around the world which is exactly what you need when you're watching high definition content. What's also great is that they have a no logs policy which means all of the encrypted data you use through the VPN will not be tracked or stored so you can rest assured that you are safe and anonymous online. So once you've entered your account information, you want to go ahead and log into your account. Once you are logged in, the VPN will look something like this and it's very easy to use. So all we need to do now is select a VPN server from anywhere around the world that we want to watch Netflix in. So for this example, we want to watch UK Netflix, so we need to select a UK VPN server. So once you've found the UK VPN servers, you want to select the one with the lowest number, as this is going to be the lowest latency, which will give you the best performance. In this case, the UK stream not optimizes the lowest, so I'm going to choose this one. Once you've selected it, it will connect to the VPN server within a few seconds. If you wish to manually connect or disconnect from a server, all you need to do is click on the power button at the very top. So once we are connected to our server of choice, all we need to do is go back to our dashboard, and then you want to go to the streaming platform of your choice. In this case, we're going to use Netflix. So once you're on Netflix, all you need to do now is to refresh the application to get it to recognize we're from the country that we connected to our VPN server to. So what we need to do is click on the left hand side menu, then you want to scroll all the way down to where it says get help and click on that. Now as you can see where it says country slash language, it's going to say the current country that you are currently in. In this case it's US. However, if we scroll all the way down and click on reload Netflix, and once Netflix has been reloaded, we can select our profile and it's now going to think we are from the country we connected to our VPN server. And to prove this, we can go back to the left hand menu and then we can go to the get help menu and as you can see where it says country slash language, it now says GB, which is Great Britain. So we can go ahead and start watching our Netflix movies just as we normally would. And that is how you watch UK Netflix from any country around the world. Remember to click on the link in the description to register for your private internet access account. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and pass on to one of me find it helpful as well. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.